What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeMo.com, and I am back with my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Friday, April 8th. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments section who your favorite plays are, and then go sign up at No House Advantage using the promo code AwesomeMo. You can get yourself $25 on your first deposit. We're rounding out the bottom of my top 10 with Isaiah Roby, Kyrie Irving, Nikola Vucevic, Pascal Siakam, and Luka Doncic on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? Time to find out. In first at number five, we've got Malik Monk. He's shooting guard eligible 5,400, projected for 37. The goal is 42 and a half, and he is in the optimal lineup 23% of the time. I'm going to assume that the Lakers are not playing LeBron James, Russell Westbrook, or Anthony Davis, which means Monk in for 33 minutes, in for 1.1 fantasy points per minute. They are eight-point favorites against Oklahoma City. 22 points on 25% usage for Monk, five boards, four assists, and a stock and a half. Assuming the big two and a half are out for the Lakers, there's plenty of minutes to go around. There's plenty of shots to go around. And I think Malik Monk soaks up quite a few of them. And number four, we've got Stanley Johnson, small forward eligible, 3,500, so flat minimum, projected for 30 and a half. The goal is 35 and a half. He's in the optimal lineup 23% of the time. This is just a value play if you want to get all the way to the bottom. You know, somewhere in the 0.85 to 0.9 fantasy point per minute range, 34 minutes for Johnson, 16% usage, and then just casting a wide net of stats, 13 points, six boards, three and a half assists, two stocks. He's going to do a little bit of everything, probably not going to be the most fun pick you'll ever make, but when he's coming in in the flat minimum and he has the ability to play well north of 30 minutes, you have to pay attention to it. We take a step up in tiers now. We go to Giannis Antetokounmpo at number three, small forward, power forward eligible, 11,200 projected for 59. The goal is 64. He's in the optimal lineup 28% of the time. The raw point ceiling here is massive. Uh, I think Milwaukee's still trying to win. 1.74 fantasy points per minute for Milwaukee, or sorry, for Giannis here against the Detroit Pistons. 35% usage, 31 points and 13 boards, which is just an insane stat line. Oh, by the way, six assists and two and a half stocks. I love the raw point ceiling here for Giannis. Now it's possible he doesn't play. They might just sit him against Detroit because it's Detroit. But assuming he is in the game today, I think he looks exceptional as a payup option. And number two, we go to Oklahoma City for Jalen Horde. He's small forward eligible, 6K, projected for 39. The goal is 45. He's in the optimal lineup 30% of the time. Horde's just playing big minutes now that OKC is basically playing seven guys. He's going to be like a 1.15 fantasy point per minute guy. 17 points and 12 rebounds for Horde. Three assists and two stocks. It's actually a pace up spot against the Lakers. And they're not the biggest underdogs in the world. He could play 40 minutes today, and I don't think it would be surprising. You're going to end up playing a lot of Oklahoma City. You're going to end up playing a lot of the Lakers. But Jalen Horde is your best option from the Thunder. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments who your favorite plays are, and then go sign up at No House Advantage using the promo code AWESOMO. Your number one contender for today is very easy. That is Taylor Horton Tucker. He's shooting guard, small forward, eligible, 4K, projected for 37.4. The GPP goal is 37.3. He's in the optimal lineup 37% of the time. He played massive minutes and went crazy yesterday, and I think it happens again here. 34 minutes, 1.1 fantasy points per minute against Oklahoma City, 24% usage, 19.6 boards, 5 assists, 2 stocks. He basically can't fail at this price. The position is incredible. The playing time is incredible. Don't overthink it. If you're playing cash games, he's your first guy in. If you're playing GPPs, he's probably still your first guy in. Taylor Horton Tucker is your number one contender. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Friday, April 8th. DraftKings and Yahoo versions of this video are around here somewhere, so make sure you check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. I don't know when we're back again, but we will be back again. It's going to be Sunday. We're back again Sunday morning for another edition of The Contenders.